So I had a bright idea to DIY some lamps. Eh? Eh? I wasn't really planning on making this video, but apparently it's happening. Today I'm challenging myself to thrift flip slash upcycle slash DIY as many lamps as humanly possible within 24 hours. And I'm also challenging myself to do this unscripted vlog style because I need to get more comfortable in front of the camera. If you're anything like me, this might just look like a normal dining room table to you. But this is actually covered in lamp stuff. So I'm gonna try to go through everything. Hopefully I won't forget anything. There's a lot here. Um, I've been thrifting for, I, some of this stuff is many years old. Some of this stuff is relatively new. So we're just gonna get into it. Um, this first one is this situation. Ah, my partner's been using it as a desk lamp, but the base is not actually very big or sturdy, and we're pretty sure it's supposed to be a sconce rather than a table lamp. Um, I found this cute little table lamp. I might redo some of the, the outside texture. I might make it black, like a matte black texture. That'd be cute. I'm gonna DIY a shade. My plan with this one is to use like some nice heavy paper to make an accordion fold, I'll, I don't know, I'll pop it up on the screen. I have this lampshade that is only part of a lampshade. Um, I imagine I'll do the same paper thing actually as this last one that I just described, but I don't know what to do for the base of this. I have a couple different ideas. Uh, one of them might include this like marble crock thing, whatever we choose. Um, we are going to use we're going to use this half of the Ikea lamp, because I don't know where the other half went. I also have a different idea for this lampshade. I might turn it into a mushroom lamp, because I have some of like these mixing bowls also from Ikea. I have this thing, which does not look like much right now, because this is a lime green thing with a fun little spiral. Oh, I have not tested this one out yet, so I do not know if this one actually works. Let's test that. Power source. Oh, yeah, that works. I'm glad it's not broken because I don't know how to do any electrical work yet, so... This, I, this is my re most recent find. I found this yesterday. It's just like a, you put it on the wall and it's like a picture light situation. It came with light bulbs that looks like they might have been burnt out, but they're actually not. And I've been looking for this for the painting that is right behind the camera right now. It's a little too shiny for me. So I think we're going to antique it up a bit. Not technically a lamp, um, but I have this candle holder. It is an antique brass. Uh, it's got a good patina on it. Not a big fan of the leaf motif. I am a poet. So I think we are going to hammer that out a bit. I found this sconce thingy. Oh, I have not checked if this works yet. Yep. Yeah, it works. Um... I have a couple of differently sized embroidery hoops, so if I wanted to like make some sort of thing... I think that's it for the actual lamp things. Other supplies include... I have a short wooden dowel, a long wooden dowel... Do you want to say hi to the people? Mwah. No. I have this gold paint stuff that I used on the antique mirror. I have some cans of black spray paint, and it is heat proof. I think that's it. Hmm. <laughs> I just thought I could use this lampshade with this arm situation thingy. All right, I should probably describe all of the lights that I want. So over in this corner by the art and the plant, I really want a sconce, and specifically one that has an opaque lampshade, because I do not want to see the light bulb at all, because I want the light bulb to be our one and only grow light, because they are $20 each, and they're very expensive, so we only have one. And we kind of just move it around whenever our plants need light, and this plant is not doing great. So 
That's the most important one. I'm thinking of putting this candle holder over by the couch back there. This lamp is gonna go on my desk as my desk lamp because I don't want a normal desk lamp. I don't really like uh, like a metal task lamp as a desk lamp. This lamp, whether we do the shade or the mushroom shade, is gonna go in the living room somewhere. I should probably check if there's actually an outlet where I wanna put it. That would be helpful. Okay, so we're gonna tackle the most important one first because oh, ooh, we gotta save that plant. Light bulb. Okay, yeah, did it. We have to deal with this situation because yeah. I'm thinking of doing a long rectangle because that way we can hang it with this thingy again Oh, but there's a... Pro tip, don't use a dowel as a ruler because it's not a ruler. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. Basically what happened is I didn't take into account the hole in the back here. And so I cut through the side of the hole, which means there will be a hole on the side of the rectangle, which is not good. This is already not going great. Okay, time to put our thinking cap on and get to work. Change of plans. We're gonna start with this one because I know that this is a thing that I wanna do. And since this says caution risk of fire, we are not gonna use the thing that says flammable. And instead we are going to use the high heat spray paint. Let's go do that before the sun sets. Okay, before we do that real quick, we need to remove the sticker off of here. The trick to getting sticker goo off is to use any sort of citrus essential oil. So lemon, orange, lemongrass, anything like that. decision paralysis like I don't know what is happening but there's just like so, so many, many things, things that I cannot decide on the next thing, thing to do, to do. Um, literally, literally none of this matters, matters either, either. Like, they're lamps they're lamps we're just gonna do this one next oh <sighs> I don't think this is making big enough of a difference to keep doing it. See, when there's a candle in there, you don't even notice. What we do need to figure out is a way to keep this in there because right now it is very wobbly. My idea is to take one of these and glue the flat side to the bottom of where the candle goes. And in theory, that should be enough to hold the candle in place. Okay, we will let that cure and hope it works because if it doesn't, there's no getting it off of there. Okay, while we wait for the glue to dry, we've got to make some decisions. I'm assuming I'm going to have to cut this a bit shorter, but we can deal with that later. See? That's kind of cute. I'm leaning towards the plate as the base and this as the lampshade. That was base and that is. That would also be cute. A third option is that I could just do both lampshades and I could switch them out whenever I feel like it. We'll see how this goes. It is exactly 6.30, and we're gonna keep going.
think the only other lamp we can do for right now is the desk lamp. The thing is with this one, I don't have a frame. Ooh, I just had an idea. This is too big for the top, too small for the bottom. I'm imagining it'll go right in the middle, which is maybe kind of weird, but I think it'll work. It is just after 10 o'clock and we're gonna be done for the night. I've done three of these situations. I'm guessing I will need five or six to go all the way around the lamp. Since this is a 24 hour challenge, I will see y'all in the morning. We've got until two o'clock tomorrow. I really wish I had some sort of big cinematic moment leading up to the reveal that this glue just like fully did not work at all, but I don't. <laughs> so that's why I'm here, talking at you. I decided to try it again with a different glue, you know, just for the heck of it, and also because I'm apparently very attached to the idea of how freaking incredible this lamp could look, and I'm really just trying to convince myself not to lose hope at this point. Two days later. This video is already a hot mess. The last time you saw me, we were gluing this back together. So we're just gonna lean into the mess, but we're also gonna try to clean up the mess as soon as possible because our dining room table is currently covered. Things are falling off, things are being knocked off, and that is not good. So we're gonna try to wrap up this project as soon as possible. So for the past year and a half, this IKEA lampshade has been in the dining room, and usually the corners of the room are incredibly dark. 
Right now I've obviously taken the lampshade off and the corners of this room are actually bright. And I'm thinking that this lampshade might be a really good possibility. The only problem is there's these three metal prong thingies, I don't know, whatever you call them, and they need to fit around this circle because this circle is what will hold the lampshade in place. My first thought was that we could hacksaw off just like half an inch from the ends, but I don't think the hacksaw will fit. I think my move right now is to bend these to the side slightly. That'll make this opening bigger. Let's see if that works. Now this means that we most likely have to break off these two and then like tie some strings on the inside to you do something. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you have to drink water right now, Coda. Since we decided on doing that lampshade here, that means that this black Ikea bowl will for sure be this lampshade. Although that is only counting on the fact that this glue actually worked. So, fingers crossed. Pretty sure the only way to get this to actually work is to get a drill bit made specifically for marble and to drill a hole in there big enough for the base of the lampshade. I might, I might just do it because I think this lamp was just that good, but probably not for this video, which is unfortunate. One week later. I have absolutely no idea when the last time I filmed any of this was, but we're just gonna keep going. We need a hole right there, and my neighbor said that she would look for the drill bit, but then never got back to me. So, we don't have a drill bit. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to use a nail and a hammer and just try to like make a perforated hole and hope that works. I think this should work. Conveniently, my partner is asleep right now and they mentioned the other day that it would be amusing and informative to see how much noise I can make without waking them up because they are a heavy sleeper. And so, I've got a hammer and we're gonna see what damage we can do. That wasn't as much noise as I was hoping to make, so let's...
decided for now that I'm just going to use the top bit of this as our sconce situation over the plant because I need to save this plant. Like that looks fine. All I'm going to do is clean this out. It is dusty and crusty. So we're just going to wipe that out, stick that in there, and then hot glue all over in there. I don't really feel like you're laying into the wall, so we're gonna see if some push pins can work. Oh, finally. Okay, there's only one more lamp left. I swear we're almost done. We got this for separating saw for Christmas, and I've never used it yet, so we're gonna try to use it on this. My partner saw my horrible sanding job and um, insisted on finishing it for me. So now it looks much better. So in typical Medora fashion, I tried painting this with the gold paint and then antiquing it with the Sharpie and then adding some brown paint and on top of all that, some metallic nail polish. And I still hated it. So I spray painted it black.
Oh. Oh.